stay back! Ah, uh, did somebody forget a weapon? Yikes! A creeper that talks! <laughs> I'm not just a creeper, child. I'm the first creeper. The others are nothing compared to me. B please don't kill me, oh great first creeper, sir. I I'm just a lowly noob. Relax. I'm going to tell you the story of how I was born. If you can guess the moral of my story, I'll let you go free. Oh, okay. Make sure you're sitting down. This one isn't for the faint of heart. My curse began on a night like tonight, over 20,000 years ago, in a time of ancient builders. Believe it or not, that's me. I didn't do much building, but I had a loving wife, intending the fields kept food on our table. Until my hoe broke. <laughs> Instead of helping me, the builders just laughed. Aw, look whose puny little hoe snapped. What use is a hoeless peasant? Don't you need a guinea pig for that experiment of yours? Experiment, your majesties? What experiment? You're about to find out. I could feel myself slipping away. I wanted to ask the builders why, but I already had a pretty good idea. What are you doing to me? Let me go! I, I want to see my wife! Are you sure? When we're done, she probably won't recognize you. No! Look on the bright side, peasant. You'll never be useless again. Now, transform! The process was more painful than anything you can imagine. My chest burned as my old organs disappeared, and I grew new ones. The pillagers are coming! <gasps> Even in its changed state, my brain knew to fear the pillagers. They were murderous, ruthless barbarians. In a single night, they ride through our high city and steal everything that wasn't nailed down. Our golems were no match for them. We have to use our creation against the pillagers, or the city will be destroyed. The crafting ritual isn't finished! He hasn't grown his new arms yet! Forget the arms! Put in the power disk, now! We don't have time to argue! They're sacking the city as we speak! Fine, but don't blame me if he comes out wrong. Okay, we're done. How do you feel, peasant? I feel... wrong. Where are my arms? No time to complain. The pillagers are here. It's time to fulfill your destiny. They're in here. I found them. Looks like it's builders for dinner, men. Peasant, attack! Attack? How? What do I do? I, I don't have arms. It's quite simple, really. Just crawl over to the pillagers and explode. E explode? That'll kill me. Uh, yeah, duh. Exploding tends to do that. I don't want to die. Well, neither do we. And our lives are worth a heck of a lot more than yours. No offense. No. I have to get back to my wife. You really think she'll recognize you now? You're a walking bomb. Now do what bombs do best and blow this pillager to kingdom come. I can't. I'm sorry. Peasant, come back! Help me! No! No! I rushed home to my wife hoping that our house on the outskirts of the city had been spared. But I was too late. No! I thought I had nothing worth taking. Alexa! But of course, I was wrong. No! Uh, serious? It's okay. I'm here. I'm with you. It's me, Alexa. It's Stevis. No, you're a monster. You ate him and stole his voice. Uh, no, I'm your husband. 
Can't you recognize me? Stay back. Please go. Go away. No! It's okay. I don't know how I made it through the night without being attacked. But eventually the sun rose. How would I survive without my wife? I didn't know. Then I realized I only wanted one thing. My revenge. And I knew just how to get it. Hello? Builders? Anybody left? Peasant! How nice of you to return. For some reason I thought you'd be too ashamed to ever show your face here again. But there you are. Hooray. What do I have to be ashamed of? You are weak! If you had done what I said and accepted your destiny, we could have had a fighting chance! My friend could still be alive! We need to put that behind us. You dare suggest I forget? So we can get our revenge. I like the sound of that. But we're just two people. The pillagers have huge numbers. Exactly. I know how hard it is to haul heavy equipment. They can't have come from far away. I bet they're celebrating nearby. All we have to do is sneak up to the chief and... Boom. So you're in? That might be crazy enough to work. But I'm the builder. You follow my lead and my orders. Got it? As long as the pillagers die. We left our ruined city behind and went in search of the savages who had killed my wife. It was a grim journey, but my builder accomplice seemed to be enjoying herself. Try to keep up, okay? I'm... It's hard to walk on these stumpy little legs. And is the leash really necessary? Can't have you chickening out like last time and abandoning the mission. I won't. Let's get this over with. The sun's getting too high. We need to camp until nightfall. N nightfall? That's when the monsters come out. What would you suggest? We stroll right up to the outpost in broad daylight? They'd kill us. We'll attack as soon as night falls. End of discussion. Fine. My builder friend went out to hunt some pigs for our dinner. But that had been hours ago. I started to worry. What if she fell in a ravine? I'd be leashed to this tree until I died of thirst or to something else. I barely had control of my abilities. If a monster attacked, I was done for. A zombie! Builder! Are you out there? Help! Ah! I wandered for what felt like hours. The woods were crawling with monsters, and one wrong step could have ended me. I kept thinking about my wife, and how, as long as I made it to the outpost, all this would be worth it. Ah! More zombies! Ah! Ouch! I missed my hands. Come on. Builder! Where are you? I'm right here. Sheesh, stop whining. Where were you? Did you get us dinner? Well, bad news is I didn't find any food. Good news... I did a little recon and, uh, found the pillager outpost. Really? That easily? Sure. Come on, now's our chance to strike. Even then, I knew something was off. Builder's reports seemed too good to be true, but I was either too tired, too scared, or too hungry to protest. So off we went. This is it, come on. Wait, wasn't this going to be a stealth mission? Sneak in and take out the chief? That was the old plan. This is the new plan. Barge in and blow up as many of them as you can, okay? Okay. The outpost was completely deserted, which didn't make much sense. Something wasn't right here. Where is everybody? Shouldn't there be pillagers celebrating everywhere? Upstairs, I think. Probably. Only one way to find out. First, let me fix your leash. Builder, is there something you're not telling me? Of course not. Now, let me snag you real quick. We're here! 
one biological super weapon as promised. You've done well, Builder. Our chief will be most pleased. Wait. Builder, how could you? The revenge thing was fun at first, but we need to be realistic, peasant. They'll spare our lives as long as you live in their dungeon and terrorize a few villages every week. Sound good? No! Well, you don't really get a say here. Feel free to round him up. Stay back! It looked like my life was over. Like I'd never get my revenge. But then, something amazing happened. <laughs> Suddenly I could see my destiny. I would destroy everyone who had oppressed me. Builder and pillager alike. Nothing would be safe from my explosive wrath. Run! He's gonna... <laughs> but it wasn't over. The sheer force of my rage was enough to put me back together. Some of my pieces were furious enough to become entire new beings. Eventually, there were millions of us. The builders and pillagers who had wronged us came to know us by a single name. Creeper. And creep we did, across the land, into caverns, ravines, and their nightmares. So that's my story. Have you figured out the moral? D don't trust anybody? Correct. And now, I'll set you free. No, 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 no! <laughs> no!